no access to the Schilling Wildlife Park in Plattsmouth, a few days of heavy rain flooding its only entrance road. But that doesn't stop people from going. These bow fishers say flooded fields make for great hunting. Carp, they love greenery and grass. They like to get up there, especially grass carp like to get up there, fresh waters, fresh food. They're not the only ones making light of the higher water levels. Check out this Takema farmer wakeboarding on his flooded field. He may be playing today, but working tomorrow. Larry and Alan Lincoln, who farm land east of Plattsmouth, say these standing pools of water are a death sentence for their newly planted corn and beans. It's part of the part of the occupation. You have to live with live and die by the weather, I guess. That's about two feet of water you're seeing in this field right here. The Lincolns tell me the crops that were planted here won't make it. The beans will rot underwater. They'll rot and then they'll you won't have a, any germination. They won't come out. That can happen in as little as a few days, but some of the deeper pools could take weeks to drain out. If it stands or we get more rain, then it just means more acres, we gotta come back and replant again. The Lincolns rely on these pumps to help speed up the process, but even when the water's gone, the effects linger. As you can see there, north and south there, they're perfectly straight, and when you get these big pools of water like this, you end up coming back in, you plant in, a, plant in kind of a goofy design. The farmers told me as long as this kind of flooding happens early in the season, like it did, they've got plenty of time to regain what they've lost. A late season flood would be far more devastating. Rob?